assalamu alaikum students today i am going to define next tense which is past indefinite tense it is also called past simple tense so first of all if i talk about its main definition so it is a tense uh, which show any action which you performed once in your past this is number one uh, definition other could be uh, in this way it shows any action which was your past habit any action which you used to do in your past and which is uh, no longer being performed Ab wo kiya ja raha. so it shows any action your past habit that could be or it could be like any action which you did once in your past for example if i say i watch tv it means once i did the action of watching tv in my past uh, in, in, if I say my past, that could be any time before this. Is se pehle tak piche ek lama, ek second ka bhi past ho sakta and it could be about uh, three years ago, two years ago, even a decade ago, the saal pehle bhi ho sakta hai. So any action which you perform once in your past, there you have to use past indefinite. And once you are done that this is past indefinite as you have identified, you have decided its confirmation. So after that you have to apply this formula, identity, helping verb and then singular plural. And for desi student who want to uh, learn it in Urdu from taking its identity, identical help of like in the end. So you can say the any tense which ends in liya, diya, kiya, aya, gaya. Jo bhi tense is kism ke alfaz par khatam ho. So instantly decide that this is your past indefinite. Remember one more thing. If a tense is ending in liya, diya, kiya, aya, gaya, this is past indefinite if i add only one word with that hai liya hai diya hai kiya hai it will become present perfect in urdu so this is a very important uh, you can say collision which can just mix up everything in your mind regarding present and past so for having a discrimination keep this point in your mind that you have to see it should be liya diya kiya it must not have a word hai if it has a word hai obviously it will be present perfect and then if, if I talk about its helping verb, it, it doesn't have any helping verb, verb, we will use second form of verb. I think, not I think, I am definitely sure about it. This is the only tense, is, uh, tense in English in which we have to use second form of verb. Apart from this, we don't have any tense in which we have to use second form of verb. And for making interrogative and negative, obviously, we will use a helping verb. And other example, for example, I once I did this action of writing a letter, it is past indefinite, I will use second form of verb. I wrote a letter. Now, an important point. For making interrogative and negative, you always need a helping word which you have to bring in start of the sentence. But here, as I have mentioned, we don't have any helping verb. In helping verb, we have nothing. I wrote a letter, we, d we don't have any helping verb, is MR, do, does, or this type of thing. So we have to borrow another helping verb, which is did. And did is already second form of do. Once you put did, after that, you have to use only first form of verb. For example, I wrote a letter, and for making interrogative, did I write a letter? Once you have added did, remember this point in your mind that after did, I have to use first form of verb. You are not supposed to use again did i wrote a letter obviously it will be a blunder and for making negative i did not write a letter as you have used here did so after did you are not supposed to use once again second form of verb so this is your past indefinite tense a very important uh, tense and a lecture because i think this is a tense which we almost you know if i talk about on our daily basis or daily routine in our daily walk of life we come across these type of sentences too much so this is very important to keep it in your mind and practice it apply it remember its formula identify it and then simply just apply that formula i think it will be really beneficial and helpful for you as far as learning past indefinite is concerned thank you very much